Greetings, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. Today we're gonna go over the Godzilla X Con New Empire trailer. Is that what it's called? Godzilla. I just saw there was a new trailer. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Godzilla Ten Kong. Because that's what I when I see X, I just think of the number number ten. You know. <laughs> right. It's the tenth installment, but we've only had the three. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds perfect. It I feels like, like ten. It's probably been enough stuff in these movies that it could have been ten different installments. Yeah, they were stretching it right. Yeah. But anyways, so you checked out the trailer, right? Yeah. I checked out the trailer. What do you think of the trailer? Do I, can I like be honest? Oh yeah, be honest. Because the weird, because I think the thing that hurts it right now for me is like, I just went from watching Godzilla Minus One, which is probably one of the best Godzilla movies ever. It's definitely, like I would say it's my favorite solo now. Yeah, it's, it's favorite solo Godzilla for sure. For me anyways. Well, 98's pretty good. We can't bring that up because if I say if I say that people get mad, even though I still really like ninety eight Godzilla. I do too. And I would rather watch them than some of the other solo Godzilla movies. Because <laughs> um, I know fifty four is a classic, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of crap for this, but it's probably my least favorite of the solos. God, it's boring. I like stuff that happens. Like I don't. I'm not saying I hate it, and I like things that happen in it. But in terms of like. Personally, like, I always, when I grow up, I liked 1984. I thought Classic. that was really good. I liked the way Godzilla's presented. I also had the Super X. So it's not quite a solo movie, yeah. but it is. Uh, you have Shin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla's pretty good. It's just, for me, it's the too much blah, 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 blah. Talking. Yeah, it's one of my favorite uh, Godzillas, and I really like the way they present him in the movie. But, like you mentioned, it's like, I think we were driving home the other day talking about it and i was just like it kind of it like shin godzilla almost for me nowadays is kind of like alien versus private requiem where i almost just want to see the godzilla scenes and i can kind of skip everything else. you can skip everything else after that i'll be fine yeah it's like youtube clips are my best friend for that movie but then again but i say that but i'll still sit there and watch like usually i'll just watch the movie anyways yeah i like, uh, I like the evolution of shin yeah, like I said, I like the evolution. I like the way they presented like his beam and like how everything was kind of ever revolving throughout he, the movie. He just climbs on the land and blah, blood everywhere. <laughs> All right, are we talking about uh, the trailer? Sorry, go ahead. I don't. But like I was saying, but I think my problem is I went from that, which is like a super serious, like scary Godzilla, into probably something that is more Showa than most any of the Showa movies ever were. Oh my god, the ending scene with Godzilla running with Kong and all I can think of is Transformers. Da, 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 da. All I seen was Optimus Prime and uh in uh ape form and uh <laughs> Megatron in a dinosaur form and I Grimlock. was Grimlock. Like, it would be Grimlock. Yeah, Grimlock. I was like, Oh my god, no. The one thing I got was confused about is why does he have the infinity gauntlet? I know it's not what it is, but that's it's the first thing I like ever that's the first everything everybody thought. It's just like why does the giant gorilla have a giant yellow metal thing on its arm? Snaps. And everything's gone. Yeah, it's like does he get like infinity stones? It looks like a giant piece of a construction equipment is like hooked to his hand. So I don't know what the purpose of it is, but it seems like it has some purpose with the plot. <laughs> Same question why he's got uh Godzilla Pink. Um, because he's woke. That's the general consensus of the internet right now. <laughs> so I was reading this article uh. after they released a trailer and the company was talking about that Godzilla changes forms or changes colors due to radiation he sucks up. And they were explaining like original Godzilla just absorbed a normal one. He's blue and then he absorbs the uh, other one, which makes him burning Godzilla, you know. Yeah, like he took up too much radiation. Yeah. But then... That would, that would be my assumption, especially with the way he's, like, in the crystal. That's what it looks like. It's probably just whatever it was doing. Because, like, even, like, the leaked action figures talk about it being evolved. Yeah, it's like he was sleeping. What was he? I don't know why he gets thinner. Like, Again, he's a lean, mean fighting machine. Again, it's probably something to do with the radiation he's sucking up because the radiation changes his body. I just like how like his body type is getting more and more to the in nineteen ninety eight. It is. <laughs> it's, it's getting more it. and more Zilla. Ah! 
Just with way more spiky protrusions. Because he's also probably the most hardcore 90s Godzilla that we've gotten to. Just spikes everywhere. I'm down for it. I don't even mind the pink. I don't. I honestly don't. Kind of reminds me of God uh, 2000, but... Yeah, a little bit of 2000. Like, Shin had, like, the pinks and purples. You had... Yeah, like, 2000s. There was something else. Something else is pink. I'm okay with it, though. I think it's cool. I almost kind of wish they would have maybe went with the 2000 with, like, the gold. If the pink really bugs me, I'll just shut the color off my TV and pretend it's 1950s. Just black and white. white. <laughs> You'll be fine. I just love how I keep seeing people trying to justify the pink. Be like, oh, maybe it's, like, a different Godzilla. It's the female Godzilla. Like, everybody's just, like, so hard-pressed on why Godzilla can't have pink spines. Who cares? It's yeah, it's just, be. I, like I said, it's, it's something different, and I'm always down for like something different with Godzilla. I'm just waiting to see what the storyline is. I'm just more upset and that Legendary didn't contact me about likeness rights when they unveiled their big bad scary monster of the movie. It's just which Steve. is a yeah, it's just me, it's just a bald hairy ginger. I'm just gonna call him Steve. <laughs> with bad teeth. You ever, this guy. <laughs> ever get a figure of it, we're just going to review it and we're going to call it Steve. Yeah, he's just going to be my new icon for the channel. You know, what's going to happen is when they release the higher or the monsters or whatever, when we do the streams, lately it's I've been having uh, Sauron from Primal Rage. Yeah. I was going to swap it out for that. <laughs> It'll be perfect. <laughs> just, just like, uh, it's a little too home. It'll be perfect. Oh. <sighs> I think my only problem is, is so far what they show me of the villains, I'm still not excited. I know I've heard other things happening in the movie, which kind of got me a little bit excited, but it's just like, even like with this trailer, the thing I took away from it the most was, Colin has something on his arm, what's that thing? Pink Godzilla, and it kind of looks like we got like Cetopian kind of people. And we have orange monkeys, orangutans, I'm sorry, orangutans breaking through the earth. Also, every franchise has to have a baby character. Now we got Baby Kong. It's not Baby Kong. It's one of the orangutans. He's orange. He's ginger. He's like reddish brown. So are you telling me Kong is one of the uh, orange monkeys? And oh, and I see why know. they're pissed. I see why they're pissed. <laughs> he came with your camp. Oh. It's kind of like Ace Ventura. Why do you think he's got a uh, glove on to cut his arm off? That was his punishment. That's his pimp hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was just saying, because like the beginning when the lady's talking, it kind of sounded like Bones from well, the TV show. Everyone, honestly. I should really look up if she's in that. Anyways. Bones. The Bones lady? Yeah. Because it just has like that monotone like cadence that's sort of like that character. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It reminds me a lot. Because the only reason I've ever seen Bones is because Jessica likes it. She likes, like, um, She's a CSI and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, like, I, one thing I don't understand is that orangutan, orange monkey, baby. I don't know if that is Kong related or if it's one of the uh, other primates that are attacking the Earth. But everyone keeps saying it's a baby Kong, but it does not look like Kong. It's more of orange. But so. it has the brown face. Exactly. I honestly think it is a mix. Maybe. Well, there's like different subspecies and what have you. Because that's kind of what it seems like the big villain is. Is It's like a different subsect of Kong. I feel also like... Also looks like we have a bunch of other Kong... Like a bunch of others of that guy in the movie. Also, I feel like this is not even... Should not be even called a Godzilla movie. Should be a Kong movie. With side of Godzilla. Because definitely main vocal point on this, it looks like it's going to be Kong. Well, to be fair, even the last one was mainly calm too. Exactly. And I'm for me, sorry, Aaron, but I'm okay with that because as per the last movie, the only thing that was super interesting for me, anyways, was all the stuff happening with Kong. That Godzilla side plot with the Mecha Godzilla reveal, I care less about the ninety percent of that thing. But that's one of my favorite Mecha Godzillas. It's right back here. Mecha Godzilla is fine, but it was just like. I don't know why, but just like following the Stranger Things girl and everything, I just care. Oh, no, I, we don't talk about that. I That's just stupid. care less. Stupid. Like I said, it's a, more of my problem with a lot of the legendary movies, especially since Godzilla versus... Uh, not Godzilla. 
Godzilla King of the Monsters is I feel like they try to throw in way too much into these movies. And that's kind of my fear with this one, too, is it seems like they're trying to throw in way too much into this movie. You know, speaking of that and the last two sentences you just said, I hate bringing it back to minus one, but I hate human characters in Godzilla. Stranger Thing girls. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> the death girl. That's like minus it. one. I liked all the characters. The people. Minus like the boat one. Dudes awesome. <laughs> and the greatest human characters. The greatest. Like, I was in love. I was invested in these people. All the other movies were like, eh. Except Godzilla 2014. But that's why a lot of these movies remind me of the Showas. That is. is because, uh, like, the characters are kind of goofy. They're a bit over the top. You're, you, you're sort of invested. But you're not really like it, they're there to kind of move the plot along to get to the giant monster fights. Yeah, and that's sort of what we've been getting with these movies as well. Granted, it'd be nice to have a little bit more investment into these people, but for the most part, a lot of this, and I feel like a lot of people's appreciation for Legendary, including myself, is just how well like the giant monster fights are. Like I like the bash a little bit on King of the Monsters, but I still. Like, I, I still pop that movie in fairly regularly. King of the Monsters probably had one of the best monster fights. Yeah, it's just like all the monster action is so sweet that I don't mind sitting through all the yeah. stuff. And it's fine. It's like Godzilla vs. Kong. Like, it's fine, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not blown away or anything. Godzilla vs. Kong. Fine. Although, like I said, I'm more, like, the Godzilla, like the calm part, I'm more fine with than the other one. Like the other one, uh, at this point, I almost skipped through that part now. Or that, or it's uh, like I pay attention on my, like I'm on my phone while going through that. So I am actually just waiting to see what this movie's going to be like. Yeah, it'd be nice to see some more stuff, but it's probably, we're going to be waiting until uh, closer to May. May's when this movie's coming out, right? They always come out in May, and I don't even know why. It's like to start off the summer. Yeah, well, like I said, a lot of the Godzilla movies come around, out around that time anyways. Yeah. But I think the Godzilla design, personally for me, I think is cool. I dig the spikes. Like I said, more 90s the better for me anyways. Kong, more or less looks the same, but he's got the robot thing. Kind of interested. Like I said, a lot of this stuff just seems like more ways to sell figures. Because, especially with like the highs, it's like once you got like 2019, do you really need to get 2021? It's almost the same thing. At least this is like a new look. I feel like they just made this movie to sell figures, honestly, but what do I know? We'll see. I think it's all of them at this point. Yeah. Because that's where Godzilla makes the majority of its money anyways, actually. They got, sales. they got so many Kong molds, they're just going to take a Kong painted orange, and there's our new character, boom. Take us some sanding, and yeah. just sand the hair up and fed, <laughs> call it a day. But anyways, let us know in the comment section below what you guys saw in the trailer, if you guys are super excited, or if you're like most people and think Godzilla's waving his... Pride flag? I think I remember seeing those comments too. We'll just have to wait and see. Stupid. It's like, it's like so annoying reading that stuff. It's like he's pink. Just live with it. We had close colors to that before. Shin, 2000. Yep, we've had blue. He's gone to red. Then back to blue. Now pink. At least it's sort like, of like had said, green. We get some variety. We sort of had green Godzilla, you know. Earth. <sighs> That was the one. He kind of had pink in his. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I had that drone down on my head until you remind me. I'm like, oh yeah, there was the background electricity. Yeah. God, this is the one Godzilla. Like, I watched them once. I'm good. We should watch that again. No. Yeah. It's like the Attack on Titan movies. No. Oh, come on. The Attack on Titan I'm movie good. had a Baconator at the end. Oh. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. Those things hurt my feelings. Oh. Help, us to be, uh, help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come arrange the day. Well, guys, subscribe to Patreon, Pitch, and Facebook. If you guys like people today, what you want to donate, greatly appreciate it. Also, if you guys are looking to pick up the high egg figures, link in the description for Cow Kiss Toys. Save 6% off your order using the code Steve Cow Kiss at checkout. They also have free shipping. And most of the new uh, releases are currently up on there, like with the Skull Island Con. You can pre order the Flameborn Rodan. Yeah, with the fluorescent paint. And I, I imagine once they start putting the figures up there, they'll have it too, and you'll get them faster than most stateside places. Anyways, see you guys next one. Bye-bye.